Hi guys, it's me, Teacher Gon. In our today's video, we will talk about solving word problems involving direct and inverse variation. So without further ado, let's do this topic. So what we have here is the first problem that we're going to solve under direct variation. By the way guys, if you want to know more about direct and inverse variation topic, you can have it here. And you can see the links in our description box. So let's start this problem. The distance required to stop a car varies directly as the square of its speed. If 250 feet are required to stop a car traveling 60 miles per hour, how many feet are required to stop a car traveling 96 miles per hour? So this one is under or definitely under direct variation because it says here varies directly. So what we need to do is to identify what are the different variables or the things that we're talking about in this problem. First, what we have here is the distance. Second, we have here the speed. The distance varies directly as the square of its speed. So what we need to do is to use variables to represent distance and speed. So basically, we will use the to represent the distance and s for the speed and after that we will create an equation as we all know it says here the distance required to stop a car varies directly as the square of its speed so what we will we will convert the first equation or the first sentence as d is equal to the distance varies directly k as the square, don't forget the square of its speed. So instead of s, you should put s squared. Okay? So after that, we need to find the constant of variation. We have k as the constant of, vari of variation. But there's a shortcut in getting the constant under direct variation. What you need to do is to divide this by s squared. So our formula is d is equal to s squared. And to find k, we need to write down or jot down the values of each variable. So your d is equal to 250 feet while your s is equal to 60 miles per hour, we will get 60. Then substitute this value to so the given formula. So this is k is equal to 250 over 60 squared. And simplifying this, it will give us 250 over 60 squared is 3,600. By the way, if gusto mo mapahit madali yung calculation nyo, you can use a calculator. Now, we have 250 divided by 3,600. 3, 250 divided by 3,600. It will give us the answer of K is equal to 5 over 72. Or, if your teacher wants you to use decimals, you can press ST. It will give you 0. 0, 7. But in our case, I will use 5 over 72. Now, we are done with the value of k. So what's next is we will use this into this formula to get our working equation. So it will become d is equal to 5 over 72, then s squared. We will solve the main problem. It says here, how many feet are required to stop a car traveling 96 miles per hour? In this part, we are asked how many feet, meaning the distance is unknown. And the speed is 96 miles per hour. So let us solve this. I will use a red pen to solve this problem. 
So this is D. And then 5 over 72 times S squared yan, eh? This is 96 squared. Again, we can use our calculator. And as you can see, if we will simplify 96 squared, it will give us D is equal to 5 over 72 times 9216. And then we can use again a calculator. We can multiply 5 by 9216. Then to be divided by 72. And it will give us the answer of 640. So what does it mean if our D is 640? Meaning, it will require us 640 feet to stop a car traveling 96 miles per hour. And that is the answer in this kind of problem. So I hope you get the solution and explanation behind this problem under direct operation. Now let's move on with an example under the inverse variation. So this one is under work problem. And definitely, when we say work problem, it is under inverse variation. Let's start. The time to complete a project varies inversely with the numbers with the number of employees. If three people can complete the project in seven days, how long will it take five people doing the same project? This one is under inverse variation. And syempre, we need to know what are the variables involved. So what we have here is time and the number of employees. So we will go and represent time as t and for the number of employees we will use letter capital letter E number of employees now we will go and create a general equation the time or t varies inversely with the number of employees so instead of ke that would be k over e and after that we need to find the value of k or the constant and the shortcut under inverse vari inverse variation if you want to get the constant all you need to do is to multiply the variables that is t times e here the value of t if three people can complete the job or the project in seven days so your time is seven days while you're the number of employees are three people so we'll substitute that so that is k is equal to 7 times 3 and as you can see the constant here is 21 so in this case we will use this 21 or the k here to make our new equation our new equation is this t is equal to 21 over e and let us go and solve the main problem it says here how long, meaning, obviously, we are asked for the time. The time is missing. It takes five people. The number of employee is five people. So we will substitute that. It will become T is equal to 21 over your E, which is five. Now, you can use your calculator. To get the numbers, we have 21 divided by 5, and to give you the decimal, 
to give us t or the time for 0.2 and the time that we're going to use is number of days so this t is equal to 4.2 is 4.2 days meaning the five people can finish the job in 4.2 days so guys if you learned from this video hit the like button and subscribe button so if you're new to my channel don't forget to like and subscribe and you can follow me on my facebook page here for more updates Mami Maran Salamat. Bye-bye.